Blub blub everyone, welcome back to Bulger's Gate 3 and Gurchak is in the perfect pose for this moment. In front of his own statue and also something I've seen since I had to give me animal speak because we want to um, speak to Scratch. Look at that, sweet stone features. Affected entity is blessed by their own depiction in stone. It gains a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. I think that wasn't in last time, so that is amazing. That's a perma bless if if it is indeed permanent, unless it goes away when we now leave the the area. Mm, no, it doesn't it doesn't seem to. That is so good. To speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. Oh, poor doggo. What you got there, Scratch? I don't know. A rope. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Sure, you get petted, but... That seems like we would... I mean, you can roam free, you know that, right? I don't have to... Go on a walk with you. So... Just, just so you know, but okay. Maybe he wants me to kill myself and just... You know, speaking through the flower right here. Shadow Art! Something the matter? I should hope not, after the time we spent together. My spirits are thoroughly lifted. Hmm, nice. Mine are as well. Um, I did want to talk to you about that as it happens. Oh? Not feeling any regrets, I hope. How? How could you have regrets there? My goodness. Um... Plenty of practice if you are to become an accomplished swimmer. <laughs> no, not in the slightest. It was wonderful. I'm glad. I feel the same way. Though, I'm still finding sand in my hair. I wonder what the others will think of that. Oh, they can shut it. <laughs> Let them think whatever they like. It doesn't matter. They will, oh, they will naturally assume we snuck away to make sand castles in the middle of the night. Oh, I do like that one. Yeah, I do like that one. I'm going to save it, though, just in case that is a bad thing for some reason. But that is the most fun answer I could ever think of. They will naturally assume we snuck away to make sand cars in the middle of the night. <laughs> but of course they will. I hope we'll have more opportunities to slip away. And make sand castles. I hope so, too. Embrace the safe scumming. I mean, it's just, just a... Just a security save, not that she says, How dare you be so dishonest or some bullshit. <laughs> because it definitely seemed like the best answer of the two. For sure, by far. Uh, just, just you know, to be safe. Because I don't want to destroy this. And that's why I don't think the five is not, it, it, it's not supposed to be there. I know, I live in fear of the conversation wheel. Yeah, oh god. Luckily it's not that bad. Uh, do, 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 do. we share something special. Very I want to talk about it. Of you, but go ahead. I just want to kiss. Just Come on. The one. Well, let's see when we when we build more sand castles. I'm more afraid of being rude in game than in real life. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Oh, it was so hurtful that I had to tell Carla. Well, actually, we don't go banging now. We won't, we won't do that. And she was so disappointed and... Oh. Glad to see I'm not the only one on the wrong side of an omnipotent authority figure. Lazel did well to break free of Vlakith's manipulations. Though I doubt Vlakith will let such insubordination go unpunished. Though so Carla wasn't disappointed because of no sex, she was disappointed because of no everything. But Mike, uh, which, which makes it even worse, actually. We've been given a rare gift, an Astro Touch. No, 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 that tadpole can be where it wants to be, just not in my face. Uh, and you don't need to remain. Everything's fine. Good. So, let's continue then. Because everything there is done, finally. We're in Rivington, uh, and we need to do something still. Oh, yeah, we still have the ox with us. Oh, God. I'm not sure I'm happy with it. Oh, I wanted to sell. Yeah, let, let me do that real quick. Gethin, Red, and Ivan. I don't think we have talked to you guys. Oh, yes, we did. You were assholes. We were in the circus. We have done that. Uh, oh. Oh, no. Not yet dried. And no sign of the smith. 
Well, I'm afraid the smith doesn't exist anymore. A note written in blood, the parchment is cheap and smells faintly of iron and smoke. How I soured and salted the smith for you, and yet you dared not devour him. I will not let his bitter meat spoil, not when Baal could savor it. Oren. Freaking Baal Biatch. My goodness, that, that woman. I'm so happy when we finally rip her open and just let her bleed out. Or whatever whatever happens there. We still haven't opened this hatch. I think where we were last time, near the coast, we should go again, but... Uh, I have a um, bad message to give to you. Bad, bad news. Your master is kind of, you know, a pile of blood. Gildra? Oh, no. Just you again? How can I help you? Well, that wasn't nice. Uh, you should know that girl's not coming back. What? Don't joke about that. He'll come back. He always does. He's probably just gone to get more coal for the forge or visit one of the ore mines. Um, he's dead. And no obituary in the Gazette? Impossible. I don't know why you're insisting on spreading these nasty Love thoughts, the ice. but I'll ask you to kindly keep them to yourself. Now, is there anything you'd like to buy? If not, move along. Oh, she's not as cheery, and, uh, cheery anymore. Sure. N not for you to worry about in any case. <laughs> you're a customer. Is there anything I can do for you? The eyes are literally burning. It looks amazing. Of course. Gildro's finest. And I do love her green tint with the gold. Oh yeah, I'm gonna cut that out. We'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. Unfortunately, I went a few meters further. Just out here towards this well. There was a dog collar here and also the well is interactable. We'll look at that in a second. But I saw something first. That's why I got um, scratched because there are doggos here. And we found him with a courier. And this is a post house. So these might be courier dogs. And that's why we're going to go in here and talk to these guys. When will I get to train the dogs again, Miss Martha? When you prove yourself not to be an incompetent idiot. Yeah, that's not very nice. Ah, I see. Um, maybe next 10 day then. Woof. What was that? Um, wolf. Charming effort, but you can't fool me. You're not a dog. So what the hell are you doing in my kennels? I'm gonna do exactly what I did before. We were all, uh, being awfully harsh on the boy when I arrived. It's the only way to teach him. He behaves worse than the dogs and makes more of a mess. Is this dog one of yours? <gasps> Scratch! Oh, it's good to see you, boy! Shut up, Dringo, and get back to work. And you've been slacking as well, Scratch, my boy. Oh. This dog is property Look of Sorkin's couriers. I'll take him off your hands now. Look at the poor boy. Such a, this is a big dog, by the way. Um, and now I'm gonna do the druid path because we're a druid, so we have to, and it's just marvelous. He's not property, he's Scratch. Don't you dare threaten my boy. I can do well, whatever him, I please. Brother. He's my dog. Now get out. This is a private yard. It's more like my boy in, in terms of my friend, but yeah. This noble beast has tasted true freedom. He will never be brought to heel again. Okay, we get the druid bonus, which is really nice. Let's go, Shadowheart. I need your guidance. I'm not surprised. Gonwick always indulged him. And he's got a spark in his eye I don't like. Looks lively. Take the useless mutt if you're so inclined. I'll have nothing more to do with him. It's not just Scratch. She's always hurting the dogs. Shut your mouth, Dringo. Last warning. Yeah, she seems the part, actually. Uh, no, I don't only care about, about Scratch. You have lost your way, Houndkeeper. Leave before I teach you to respect these creatures properly. 
Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely use this. I want the advantage, and please give me... Aww. Well, last time we needed to use an inspiration as well, so let's do it, and let's hope the game is nice to me and doesn't cost me more, but he, it does, of course. Well, that's what I deserve, I guess. Gimme! Yes! Thank you! Perfect. Cost me one more inspiration, but fine. it's fine. You think you can do a better job without me? Be my guest. They're a useless bunch of mongrels. You're welcome to them. Leave, woman. And never come back again. You're lucky that I let you leave. Uh, Scratch? 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 Why did Scratch leave? He's still our familiar. Thank you for making Mistress go away. She was horrid. You're not in the cage anymore, but okay. Mistress is gone. Mistress is gone. I, I mean, um, such terrible news. She will be missed. I really hope the game doesn't take Scratch from me now. You... You got rid of her. I'll do a better job looking after these dogs than she ever did. I promise. You better, my friend. You better. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Yeah, but where's my Scratch boy? Is he still in camp? He is. I know we can talk to him. Let's do that real quick. Why is that a level three slot? There's a level two ability. It's certainly good to be back at camp. How I've missed the smells. Holds well that ends well, eh, boy? Indeed. And I'm sure Dringo will do a great job. He always took good care of me. Oh, that's so nice. Yay, Scratch is now officially with us. Not our dog, but our friend. As it should be. Um, yeah, why why does the game take level 3 spell slots for enhance ability instead of the level 2 it should take? That's kind of garbage. I think there's something wrong there. Oh, yeah, and also a uh, gale buddy. Yes. You need to find your true nature. Yes. This is it. <laughs> this is Gale. Shouldn't have wished to live in more Gale the Jester night. is born. Oh, I'm listening. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's really nice. Okay. Yay, we keep Scratch. Best boy is with us still. Even though he left with her for some reason. That was that was also a bug, I, I assume. Swift as my feet can carry me. Ah, a new face! Something to send? Oh, don't be shy! Mm-hmm, okay. Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. Wow. Wait, delivery not guaranteed? Well... We've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? <laughs> He sense there's more to his anxiety than a few missing letters. Oh, have you found his letter? Level with me, what's really going on here? Oh, well, uh, one of the missing letters is my own correspondence. A, a personal matter, nothing serious. But you can understand if people think I can't even deliver my own letters. I'd be finished. Hmm, you're lying, bud.
Do you want me to track it down for you? You do that? Well, <laughs> if it's not too much bother, I... Yes, I'd appreciate the help. Bring me the letter, unopened, of course, and I'll happily compensate you for your troubles. Yeah, see, the unopened is a thing. Um, where's the letter? There's a bundle of letters. Taxes, anonymous, and postmaster shipment inquiry. What's a taxes? A concerned citizen tries to clarify his economic situation so that they are taxed accordingly. It's a nightmare of epic proportion that would make an accountant cry. Anonymous letter. A lengthy letter from a Baldurian patriarch to an unknown correspondent. It describes in no uncertain terms how both parties could profit from a war. Oh, great. And the postmaster thing. For the special livery and direct action, uh, attention of Roa Moonglow only. Look, far be it from me to question Zend directives. But you can't just take from every arrival without consulting me first. That iron flask you skimmed from the last shipment was exceptionally valuable. And we've lost the vent tempurs as clients for good now. If you just give me a warning first, I can smooth this sort of thing over, Denzo. P.S. Be careful with that iron flask. There was something about it. I felt like it was watching me. Weird. Oh, we know what that is. Well, I know what that is. He is talking... He is talking about the shipment of the Zentarim that we delivered. He's involved with that. That is interesting. Give that to Gail. And now put that in. Can't do anything with the Netherstone, unfortunately. So, buddy... So suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet? I found a letter intended for the Zentarim. It made for very interesting reading. You, you read it? Technically, that's interfering with someone else's property. I should report you to the nearest Manip. Well, well, you can try. Tell you what. Give it here, and we'll say no more about it. Uh, you I'll wish. give you a nice little bonus as well. A, a finder's fee. What do you say? I've got another buyer lined up. I'd make it a, I'd make it a very generous fee. Give me everything the Zentrum paid you, or this letter is the least of your worries. It'd be a shame if anyone told the Zentrum you lost this. A real shame. Gracefully accept. Uh, yeah, if you got Splendor, so both would work. Yeah, it would be a real shame, wouldn't it? Such a shame. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm gonna use advantage for the win, huh? Come on. Could you please not be such an ass game? Come on. I'm gonna use it all if necessary. And it's still not of any use to me. Awesome, thank you. You really think I'm intimidated <sighs> by the likes of you? That letter's not leaving the... Well, great. Now we have to murder the poor little suck-up. I don't need much against you. Not that I wanted to do that, mind you. But the game definitely wanted us to do that. He has nothing. Oh, what a little sob. What a little sob he is. Anything else? Okay, no. I'm not gonna kill the dogs. Screw that. I'm gonna do the whole dog thing again if necessary. And I'm gonna cut that out. But no, that's bullshit. <clears throat> the game can force me to kill the guy. It cannot force me to kill the dogs. That is a no-go. God damn it. So stupid. Now 
don't suppose you've uh, Do it. stumbled across those letters yet? Uh, I haven't read them yet? Oh, yeah, right. There's that thing, then that thing, and then his letter. But I still will blackmail him. He deserves this. It'd be a shame, wouldn't it? Bastard. Come on, game, don't be such an ass to me. Thank you. Stupid. Forget you saw anything. This... Never happened. We opened the letters, finding one for the center. Uh, Postmaster Denzo gave us a tidy sum in exchange for silence. Yeah, sure. That's nice. Better. Better, my friend. There we go. No doggos to need to die this this time. Postmaster's dog's log. That is interesting, though. I want to read that. I don't need to take that, necessarily. Just in case. This log of courier hounds is matted with dried saliva and dog hair. Oh. Bolworth, no fleas, lots of knotting though. Coat matted, breath smells, big bark, still good boy. Snee, good girl as always, no coat matting. Scratches occasionally, check for fleas later. Scratch, still gone, miss you boy. Oh. So that was probably from the, from the guy outside. Life of Beaky. The pigeons in service of the communicators of this city deserve far more renown than that which is afforded to them. Take Beaky, for example, a pigeon aged 10, a great, 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 great grandfather and a noble upholder of uh, his tremendous duties. Orange of beak and charcoal of wing, rare is the Baldurian who has not glimpsed the flash of his wing, darting hither and fro across our fair city. Beaky has carried Duke's writs, marriage announcements, emergency notices, and more with nary a complaint from his cooing Beak. Who among us can claim uh, a more stalwart dedication to so important prof uh, to so important profession? Yeah, that was a very important profession indeed. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Jeffers Morse? Pigeons are very sensitive. They can't fly straight if they're disturbed. Okay. Uh, form age refusal admittance. Petitioner name here. Okay. Interesting. Lily Shesman Provost Academy. Dear Lily, debtors and I can't leave our luck in getting you admitted to Provost as a boarding student just before this refugee crisis sealed the gates. It costs two arms and a leg, but if it keeps you inside the gate's walls until the danger is past, it's worth whatever we had to pay. Now, don't worry about your parents. We're safe enough in Rivington as long as the Steel Watch is here to protect us. And whatever happens, whatever you hear, don't take it into your head to leave the city. Knowing that you're safe at the Academy is what keeps us going every day and we'll get, get through this. You know we will. Helm, bless and keep you, uh, Lily Mommers. Oh, very sad, actually. Greetings, I'm an experienced forge assistant. Currently stuck in Rivington, but I expect to get into the city soon. When I do, I hope you'll grant me an interview at your famous foundry, because I'm going to need work, and I'm really, uh, really very good at hammering and, you know, tonging. Anyway, don't forget me. That sounds kind of weird. I'll be coming around shortly, so you can see if you want to hire me. Henry Tongs Buckster. And to Lord Harford, Haverford Gist. To the Honorable Lord Haverford Gist, your reputation as a charitable nobleman is renowned far beyond the walls of Baldur's Gate. Those walls that would preserve my family from the rage of the absolute cult could we but again uh, but gain admittance. However, the flaming fist at the south span of Worms Crossing are adamant in their refusal to let us in. I beg you to please use your influence to send a message to them allowing our passage. We would owe you our undying gratitude and if you were in need of an experienced scribe, I would be willing to work for only the most nominal wages. Scribe Gal uh, Galaher Brim in Rivington. So yeah, we need a pass to actually get to uh, into the city and we need to procure it in some way or fashion. There are a few different ways to do that though. Name and rank quickly now. There's a war on. <laughs> okay, General Pigeon. Um and we also have tread on the path towards that already a little bit, but only a little bit. 
Ähm, äh, Re Lieutenant Gurtag, reporting for duty. At ease. At ease. <lacht> I am Commander the Lecterer, amazing. leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chionza. Commander Lightfeather. I don't have all day. Um... I hear some of your uh, officers have gone missing recently. What happened to them? Oh, damned awful business. Fine flyers, a lot of them. Gone without a trace. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side. Got one rooftop away. They're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. <laughs> If you pass that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. The sign of the featherless wings. Enlisted avian. <laughs> oh, that is so fun. I love it. And actually, the 170 XP is really good. I've no need of a wing, man. Commander uh, Lightfeather uh, uh, will give you your briefing. Lovely. <laughs> A little wet under the wing for our unit. The commander will soon straighten you out. Straighten you out. Oh, that's very, very German. <laughs> My goodness. I love the animals in this game. It's just so amazing. They they did, did get some crea creative license with that. Oh, that's the featherless wings right there. Yeah, makes sense. It's actually the bound hands, but okay. Sure. But yeah, we did it. We actually found out who killed the pigeons without wanting to, which is nice. It was a Tressum. Gale's Tressum. See, I think we need to go in there. Should we go there now? It's gonna be an important thing to do. Sorry for the wacky camera, but it's just, it's the camera. I'm not scared of the authorities. amazing. But it would be stupid to pick a fight with the fist, right? That's a very cool looking dragonkin. It's just advertising for the circus. There's someone dead there? Let's go there real quick. A dead chicken. And reflections of a gullible prick. Wow. Poor chicken. I hope you at least were a great feast. The stained tome records a long and arduous journey. I hoofed it to Bulger's gate based on a god's damned promise. They'll welcome you with open arms, my cousin said. Everyone has a home in the gate. Seventeen days I march. Seventeen days of their whining toddlers and their piss reek. <laughs> 17 days of a howling uh, of howling wolves huddling around sickly fires and still that stench. Of course they didn't let us through to the city when we showed up, shoved us into a camp teeming with snivelers and sneerers, headed with them their sob stories, the entire gall of their presence. If uh, if I've got to be stuck outside the city, I'll make home in a chicken coop. Smells better than those shit-stained whelps, called my cousins at least. The rest of the text continues in a similarly aggrieved fashion. Interesting. Well... We're in a chicken coop and then dead chicken in front? Hmm. Did you get hungry? Just a refugee. Could go in there. Yeah, let's go in here first and look around a bit more before we go down. Oh god. Okay. No one seems very disturbed by that, which is weird. This. What are these? Are these sounds coming from in there? We have to pick this. Very nice. I actually didn't use as many lockpicks as I did before. My first try. So what's going on here? 
An abandoned windmill. Can't reach there. Okay, so let's go down the hatch. Oh god, that's a mind flay. I think we just heard someone turn. Maybe because of that. Um, I'm gonna try to talk first. Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, glistening and raw. A newborn. Unattended. How fortunate. Um, it doesn't feel very fortunate. Oh, but it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak, vulnerable, its potential ripe for harvesting. Go on, kill it, absorb its power. They don't even care for each other. Sure, I mean, it's a soulless mind flayer. Usually, Gurtak doesn't like to attack someone who is, you know, incapable of defending themselves, but fine. I mean, this is a monster that would murder innocents left and right, so let's just attack it before it wakes up. Well, that worked. What? No, I've had so little time. So much for that. But he's still surprised, so that's good. He's brain staff, which is also bad for him. Which ability scores are reduced by 10. Ooh, while wrecked with a revening hunger for brain matter. 10. Look at that. That The normal thing would be 19 intelligence. Oof. Harsh. Um, disadvantage, not nice, but you know what? I don't think we have to fear that much from this thing. And I have good AC. Well, there's a gust of wind as well. Yeah, it's fine if it's down there. Uh, what's the best way of dealing with that thing? Dealing with that thing. I can do the flash. Bleed him. I'm also never using this, so I may want to. Fire or Radiant, what's better? Doesn't matter. Let's go Radiant. Nice. Smite him. Oh wow, she can do more. Nice. Yeah, he's dead. Stay focused. It's a hundred percent against him. Up to twenty-four. Seventy-five up to thirty. Let's do the hundred. Nice, good damage. And a reverberation. Four of that. Ooh. Really good. The witching hour. Don't need the hunter's mark, I think. Easy kill. The creature was born recently. Its mind is still fresh. You can absorb its potential if you consume it. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm not sure what that high, uh, what that what that means. Uh, Ring of veracity. You gain an advantage on inside checks. That's pretty nice. Also, frost salamander tongue. The windmill key. Yeah, now I get that. Great. Obs absolute orders. Newborn. True soul alien. Your time has come. The absolute calls to all faithful, and you have been faithful indeed. Leave your barracks. Leave your armor. Leave all insignia of rank behind. So it was one of the flaming fist. You're part of the Flaming Fist no longer, even says there. You have been a loyal true soul, but soon you will be so much more. You will be one of us. One of us. One of us. So I'm gonna take that brain? But I'm not sure what that would do. Would I just get a tadpole? I wanna see, but I if I if I get the tadpole stuff, and if that's nothing else. Where's it gone? There it is. So, I ate that brain, and that was it. Oh, 
Okay. Good to know. Not gonna do that, but fine. So you need to be somewhat illithid with that already. I mean, I'm gonna take it with me, why not? Better than someone else takes it and gets stronger. Strategy-wise, sometimes it's better to take something even if you don't profit from it, so no one else can profit from it. As long as it doesn't, you know, hinder you in doing something else with opportunity cost. But here, there's definitely no opportunity cost. There's not even uh, a cost of space that I have to pay. Because I can just send it to camp. Mmm, fresh brains. How much can I go? Yummy. I feel like I was a zombie in any of the cheap zombie things. Games or films or whatever. Mmm, chicken. You know, the chicken sounds much better than the brain, to be honest. So there is a final warning, probably because of the mill. There's a notice demanding that the miller pay off his debt, lest his creditors oust him and claim the mill for themselves. Yeah, and what did that give you guys? Claiming the mill for yourself, and now it's just useless. Well done. That is why money lending should be interest free. As it was a long time, by the way. And still is in several, in several parts of the world, as far as I know. I think Japan has no interest rates. Is what I heard. Which sounds so much better than what we do. But we have to keep the, uh, the scum of investment bankers in bread, apparently, for some reason, even though they don't contribute to society at all. There's a haystack. Can we do something with that? It's an investigation check, like in the other haystacks. Surely not all haystacks can have something in them. Can you please guidance? I don't think he's good in, at investigation. Guidance, Carla. Right, and now my eagle splendor is gone. Oh, fudge that then. Whatever that was, I don't get it. Alright, apples and stuff, okay. Oh yeah, we need to go here, I think. This area is so big, you can easily miss some of these things, and this is one you could miss. The Gur Camp. They're burning something. As long as we stand together. And there's Gendril here. We know this guy, I think. My friend from the Hag Swamp. There it is. You're a bright light on a dark day. Why? What happened? We underestimated an enemy, much like I underestimated you and your vampiric companion. Oh yes. I know you hid him from me. But this is not the moment to discuss it. This is about the dead, not the undead. Frey, Valdisk Durovna. Frey, Valdisk Ablast. Our tribe left camp on a rescue mission. Only Alma and those you see here returned. Did they say whoever they said out to rescue? Uh, save whoever, yeah. They could not. Im orak nete. Have we heard about this before? Netra. I will say no more. It's not my tale to tell. No, that shame is mine alone. I thought I knew the faces of all your friends, Gandrell, but this one is new to me. I'm Gotak. A friend met on the road, my lady. I told you of the stranger in the swamp. They killed not only that Fen's hag, but also the undying General Thorm, if the rumors are true. Two fine trophies. Perhaps I can interest you in a third. 
What do we have in mind? Baldur's Gate is haunted by many things, but one of its most insidious is the vampire Cazador. For years, his foul spawn have stolen away innocents at night, whisking them back to his palace. Recently, they struck our camp. They took our children, every last one, our whole future. We are monster hunters all. Our purpose is to kill beasts like these. But in our haste to save our little ones, we were rash. We charged straight into an ambush. They tore us to pieces. Vampire spawn and werewolves. I have never seen a vampire's lair so heavily guarded. What's left of my tribe is wounded and broken. We cannot stand against him to save our children. But perhaps the Slayer of Ketherick could. Yeah, and their children were stolen by someone who, who we know. Um, it was Asterion. It's a little spoiler there because I don't do much with Asterion, but I think he'll admit to it at some point. I don't know. Um, and if it's too late to save your children, then we will settle for blood. Casador must be destroyed. To know, for the safety of the city and to make sure no one else must feel our pain. Makes sense. And you're actually very realistic with that. Good. I'll do whatever I can. If you do this, our entire tribe will be in your debt. On our honor, it will be repaid. May the gods keep you and damn your enemies. A solemn farewell. Carla likes it and is inspired by it. Okay. I do like these inspirations, that's really cool. And so many situations where I wouldn't have thought that someone would be ins inspired by it. We can do nothing for you here. All that is left is to face the beast, Kazador. Anyone here a traitor? Doesn't seem to be. We are begging help from you, an outsider. I would follow Ulmer to the hells and back, but this does not feel right. Well, you know, with your garbage equipment, I'm uh, very concerned about you anyway, so you should not talk I to me like that. I you will succeed where we failed. Oh, I like the tattoo. Exterminate every last vampire parasite. Our dead fought well. They died well. I hope I can live up to their example. Well, we'll try our best and we'll try to at least avenge your children if you can't save them. That might be worth a look. Ooh, nice. It really is good to run everywhere here and, and just see so we can find these things. Oh yeah, that's good supplies. Right there. G gaseous form, that's cool. Something I haven't used much. Like, at all. Uh, I'm gonna take the half-eaten apples if no one wants them. If you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was odd, stuff in their pockets. Bloody animals. Well, if you're desperate, you would do it too, buddy. Even though it's really bad for we you. We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. I could smack you on the head with my stick. Back and I get it all. I found these apples I love first. her hair. She has cool hair. Well, I'm taking the scraps. I'm not too fine for those. Uh, to, to leave them behind. I mean, in real life, a half-eaten apple I wouldn't take. What nutrition can that give you still? But here, it gives me camp supplies. And I'm going to take it. Oh, I pressed the egg out of the chicken. Of the dead chicken. Cool. Oh, that's probably why the chickens are dead, huh? Did they murder them? Might be. The mob? Might have murdered the chickens and then, you know, I don't know why they left them. I would have taken them with me. You know, we have fires. Just put a chicken on there, it's fine. But yeah, this is right next to the refugee camp and I mean, if they're, they're desperate. Of course they, they come uh, and take whatever they can as long as no one stops them. 
It's better than starve to death. Much better. Fine day for it, eh? Got to enjoy things while they last, I suppose. Uh-huh. Um, can I help you? This is a private picnic. I mean, if you give me your stuff, then... And you can keep your private picnic well, going. But fine. They're lucky that they haven't ripped them apart. Uh, what... What is this? It's Arthur's Mansion. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we got, we gone, uh, we've gone full circle now. So that's nice. Now we can go downstairs. Uh, into the, into the cavern that we've seen down there. And then go along the coast. And see what we find there. And then we are through this map, I guess. Is there anything else? I love the Courier's thing. That is so nice. And that they that they really tried to... Um, th that they really try in general to get all the threads that you have open uh, to find a, a end for them, you know, a something that happens with them later. It's really cool. Like with Scratch. We knew that he was a Courier Hound because we found him with a Courier. Um, and now we found the courier, uh, the the where, where they where they uh, started from, or where they belonged, and resolved the situation, which is really cool. Footprints. Deep gnome footprints. Ah, deep gnome footprints. Well, what does that tell us? Is that a a wine we can take? No. Anything else down here? I uh, will go down here afterwards. I think we go. We go in here first. Ooh, bodywork trumpet. So is this connected to the Underdark in some way? Hmm. I mean, they must have gotten here somewhere, uh, somehow. But that is an Underdark mushroom. Uh, maybe not you. exclusively. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Oh, nice. Maybe they would have been hostile otherwise. Especially if uh, the boss didn't survive. They probably would have been hostile. Hello, Dulbus. Look, unless you're an expert in steel watcher gyroscopics, please get out of my light. Okay. I'm an expert at bopping people on the head with my stick. So. Two days just to get hold of a still watcher optic module. And for what? Waste of time we don't have. Mm-hmm. Bump nagel. Interesting. You think I want my clan facing down one of those walking death machines with cutlery? Then leave me to my work. I don't think even with real swords and stuff you couldn't do that. I'm not gonna trade with you yet, I'm gonna trade with you later. Nichols. Thula we know. Keep walking, Greyskin. If it were up to me, your kind wouldn't have any part in what we're doing. Um What weren't you the one I saved? Ungrateful bee utch that you are? Ridiculous. I saved your sorry behind. It stopped. But it'll happen again. It keeps happening. The shivering, shaking, quaking. Don't you feel it? Yeah, I feel it. It keeps happening. What is it? There's something underneath the city. Inside the rock. Well, we know what I it is, I think. Stone, why it shakes. It only screams. I want to go home. Well, if everything goes well, you will. Huh. Oh, feel me. different when you're not trying to talk someone down from igniting a barrel of rune powder. Chucky questions at Walbrun. That's his job. I can make time for chatter after you know what's what. Interesting. What did your beloved say? After she found you. Hopefully she did. Oh, look at that. A ladder. That should get rid of the thing. Of the trap. 
I mean, hey guys, if you're fine with me taking everything, I'm gonna. That is not what I wanted to take. Sorry. Didn't didn't touch anything. Sorry. It's fine. Don't know why that was illegal all of a sudden. There you go, girl. And there is Wolbrin. In full combat gear, weirdly enough. Oh, and Barkus! Hey, Barkus, my guy. You're the best gnome. Ah, there you are. Good. We need to strategize. Wolbrin is planning something. Uh, lots of moving parts. Uh, I'm still trying to suss the details myself. That doesn't sound good. Any luck? Uh, some. But what he has planned is unthinkable. Maybe you can help him see sense. Someone has to. Mm-hmm. Interesting. This is a candle key we have read for sure. We probably haven't read one or two books, but as I said, I'm not gonna read them literally all. Wait, wizard's oil? But I think we have that recipe. Yeah, we had it. Okay. Um, that is a rune powder bomb. Uh, should I really stand next to you here? If that thing goes up, it's probably all of Riving that goes away. At the very least. We have, we have seen how potent rune powder is, or heard about it at least. Well, Wolburn, what do you have to say Good for yourself? To see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst-case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands what's left of the Harpers and you. I hope. Gordish is a dead man. I have reasons of my own for taking him down. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have hmm. a common enemy. But neither of us gets what we want until I'm not we with deal them. with our biggest obstacle. The Steel Watch. They're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he of becomes course. Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change, freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. Well, are they, though? Um Why put the blame on the Gondians again? They invented the Steel Watchers and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while the city screams. Serovox was, uh, was from the first two games. Serovox? To put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the watchers are on us like flies on shit. Hmm. What is the plan? Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. I mean, I'm all the for that. are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. Hmm. I've built something unique. That's not a good picture, though. Just that purpose. A room powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility and... Boom. Problem solved. Wolbrin, please. This is too far. Everyone in the foundry would be killed. 
quiet, Barkus. The adults are talking. Oh, druid stuff. Maybe the Guardians are victims, not oppressors. You can count on me. I'll put a stop to those mechanized horrors. Those metal monsters spit in nature's face, but mass murder is a bit far. So, I would say three would fit for Gurtag, but also one. It all seems a little bit convenient. And Gale in the background is just amazing. But it all seems a little bit convenient, doesn't it? And they they might help uh, Gortash with all of it out of their free will, but there might also be, I mean, Gortash is a desperate. There might also be the thing that they are actually victims and not the oppressors. So, maybe they're victims, not oppressors. I think that's still the best one um, out of Gortash's um, viewpoint. The Gondians picked their side the minute We're they not a shadow from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Yeah, like you would, now right? die like the dogs they are. Yeah, you would rather sacrifice all of your buddies instead of, you know, doing it yourself. So, you are not one to talk. And we've seen that already. You think you're the most important person, not, not anyone else. So, mm, I'm not really convinced about your motives, to be honest, uh, uh, Wolbrin. God is the enemy, not the Gondians. I'll find another way. I'm convinced. Give me the bomb. I'll make contact with the Gondians. Maybe they'll see reason. Yeah, I'll make contacts with them. Maybe they uh, contact with them. Maybe they'll see reason. That's what I've been saying. There may yet be a peaceful solution. Fine. Or at least one where the Gondians you want live. To try flapping your gums in the belly of the beast. Be my guest. But their idea of diplomacy is a steel fist shoved where the sun don't shine. So take the bomb. Just in case I'm right and you're wrong. I mean, sure. Not a problem. Also, then I'm in possession of it and you can't do other bad things with it, which is good. But also, I think what he wanted was not only get rid of the Steel Watch, which is noble goal, which is makes sense and stuff. But also, he, he wants to kill the Gondians because then, you know, there's no competition anymore. I think that's, you know, the nice and convenient thing on the on the side there. Fine, I'll take it, but I'll only use it as a last resort. As long as you see sense, I don't care when you. It's see fine, it. Carla. You have to deal with it. The foundry is in the lower city, down by the docks. Beautiful building, belching smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy, but when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Get yourself back to street level. The streets will be clear of watchers in no time. Assuming they're not autonomous. And now I would like to have a a talk with Carla because she disapproved and explain to her that I took the bomb because I don't want them to have it. Because they could do other things with it. And also it's a good last resort. Fine. But I don't intend to use the bomb. What is wrong here? Oh, that's nice. You're unaffected by hideous laughter. I didn't know that the that the clown face paint actually had a had a use. Okay, that's better. Perfect. I forgot about that before, so we'll do it now. So that is quite interesting. Uh, yeah, also take this and these. And just get rid of that for now. There you go, Carla. Enjoy the smelly cheese. The rotting one. Good. Uh, Bacchus, do you say anything else? Powder bomb. Huh. What the devil has he become? Yeah, I, I really feel it for, for Barkus at the moment because he just he he went out to help his friend and now he has to see him be such a fanatic. And that must be terrible as well. A fanatic with no thought for innocent life. The Wolbrin I know. The one who skipped rocks with me in the Underdark. He's still in there. I know it. But his hate for the Gondians has blinded him. 
That, that I think he too. He believes they work for the absolute willingly. But it's not true. I'm sure of it. Something is wrong. Very wrong. Please, speak to them before you do anything. They deserve a chance to plead their case before being blown to pieces, don't you think? Absolutely. Yeah, all right, I speak to them, That's of course. That's all I ask. Questions first, violence later. And only if absolutely necessary. Absolutely. I'd really like uh, to have Barkus as a friend of ours. He's a good guy. Oh, no, I wanted to sell. Look at that. We are at the Smith's place now. That's where this was, uh, where this led to this hedge. Use, it seems. Oh, come on. Bullshit. I was just here. What nonsense. Okay, let's talk to Bumpy. Unless you've got any decent metal on you, I'm not interested. Only if you're quick. Does he have anything good? And then I'm gonna cut it out. Here's a good berry. I mean, sure, that doesn't even cost anything. It's literally zero. Doesn't work though. Discount my. Oh, now it shows what this means. That's interesting. So I have to have to pay a markup of 11% here. That's fine. Flash blinder. Blind a target if it is a steel watcher or scrying eye. Stunned. And uh, it is stunned and suffers a 1d6 penalty to it. Ooh. Oh my god, they're expensive. Are you insane, buddy? I want these, but damn. Martial, ex martial exertion gloves. Push past your physical limits, taking piercing damage to gain additional attack per turn and to double your movement speed. So you get haste for for uh, per short rest for some health, which is nice. Gnomes are granted plus two dexterity. Halflings and dwarfs gain one dexterity. Ooh. If I didn't have the gloves of dexterity, that give me 18 score from wherever I was. That would have been good. Booming blows. Your unarmed attacks deals an additional 1d4 thunder. It's only 1d4. It's always so little. Yes, it adds up if you have multiple and uh, things that do that, but you usually don't. It's kind of sad. Don't need smoke powder bombs. Basic poison. Aberration slaying is actually... Ooh, dragon slaying. Ooh. But yeah, I don't, I don't need that, I think. Dead slaying. I mean, double damage is nice. Don't need the remove curse, I think. I think we're good. Okay, I'm going to cut you out now and sell stuff. Be right back. And this time I hope I will press the record button again. Oh! Actually, no. We are an hour in. I will stop the part here and we'll see each other again in the next part after I have sold. And uh, I hope you did enjoy. Leave me a like if you liked the episode. Follow me on Twitch. Sub my YouTube. It really helps. And come to Discord. I'll see you in the next one. Bloop, bloop, everyone.